Recently, NASA's IP mission has unlocked new insights into a fascinating feature of black holes, their coronas. These superheated regions of plasma play a crucial role in how black holes consume matter, yet their nature has long been a mystery. Thanks to recent findings, we now have a clearer picture of what these coronas look like and how they interact with the surrounding environment. Welcome to Cosmic Inquiries. Join us as we explore the breakthrough. NASA's IXP maps the shape of hot plasma in the coronas of 12 black holes. In this video, we'll dive into the findings from the IP mission, explain the science behind black hole coronas, and discuss why this breakthrough is so important for our understanding of the universe. So without further ado, let's unveil the shape of black hole coronas. To recap the basics, black holes are regions in space with gravitational pulls so strong that not even light can escape. Many black holes are surrounded by an accretion disk, a swirling mass of gas and dust pulled in by the black hole's gravity. Above this disk, scientists have theorized the existence of a corona, a superheated region of plasma emitting powerful X-rays. For years, the exact shape and behavior of these coronas remained mysterious. Previous models suggested the corona could be spherical, resembling a bulb of energy hovering over the disk, or a jet-like structure aligned with the black hole's axis. However, with advanced X-ray polarization technology, scientists have now observed the corona's structure in unprecedented detail. By analyzing how X-rays scatter and align as they pass through the corona, researchers created the first detailed map of the plasma's orientation around black holes. The results showed that the corona extends along the same plane as the accretion disk, ruling out models like the lamppost theory, which imagined the corona as a bright spot above the black hole. Instead, this plasma region appears to flow in tandem with the material in the accretion disk, forming a more disk-like structure. This discovery provides new insights into how black holes interact with their environments, shedding light on the dynamics of matter as it spirals toward the event horizon. This research is crucial because it helps astrophysicists understand how energy transfers from the accretion disk into the corona. These findings suggest that the corona is closely linked with the disk, acting as a conduit for X-ray emissions that we can observe from Earth. The IP mission studied a range of black holes, from stellar mass ones like Cygnus X1 and Cygnus X3, located 7,000 and 37,000 light years away, to supermassive black holes, such as the one at the center of the Circinus galaxy, 13 million light years from Earth. Stellar mass black holes typically have masses 10 to 30 times that of our sun, while supermassive black holes can be billions of times more massive. Despite this vast size difference, the data revealed a surprising similarity in the structure of their accretion disks and coronas. The corona in both types of black holes extends along the plane of their accretion disks. This critical finding suggests that the physical processes behind the formation of accretion disks and coronas are similar across different black hole scales. Stellar mass black holes generally form when massive stars collapse, drawing in material from companion stars, whereas supermassive black holes grow by consuming vast amounts of interstellar gas and dust. Yet, despite these different feeding mechanisms, the accretion and emission processes seem to follow similar rules. Astrophysicist Philip Karat, principal investigator for the IP mission, noted how this discovery opens new avenues for research. According to Karat, studying nearby stellar mass black holes could help researchers draw conclusions about their supermassive counterparts. This means that by observing black holes like Cygnus X1, we can gain insights into the black holes at the centers of distant galaxies, including our own Milky Way's Sagittarius A Psi. This consistency provides scientists a unique opportunity to bridge the gap between cosmic phenomena using local. Observations like these unlock secrets of the distant universe with profound implications for future black hole research. One of the most significant impacts of these findings is how they can refine theoretical models of black hole accretion and the role of magnetic fields. Research using general relativistic magnetohydrodynamics, GRMHD, simulations has long suggested that magnetic fields play a critical role in shaping plasma behavior around black holes. IP's data, providing real-world insights into the geometry of black hole coronas, helps validate and improve these models. These insights also extend to understanding the formation of black hole-driven jets, powerful streams of matter ejected at nearly the speed of light. 
the alignment of the corona with the accretion disk could be a key factor in how and where these jets form. Studying these connections offers a new perspective on active galactic nuclei, where supermassive black holes can influence star formation and shape surrounding galactic environments. Moreover, the findings have broader applications in high-energy astrophysics. By analyzing the extreme temperatures and intense magnetic fields within black hole coronas, which can reach billions of degrees, scientists gain deeper insights into cosmic phenomena such as cosmic rays and gamma ray bursts. These high energy events are some of the universe's most powerful processes, and understanding the role of black hole coronas in producing these emissions could help unravel the origins of these cosmic phenomena, providing knowledge that extends beyond black hole physics. The potential of IP's data is further enhanced when combined with observations from other X-ray telescopes, like NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and ESA's XMM Newton. While IP specializes in measuring X-ray polarization, which reveals the orientation and structure of the corona, Chandra and XMM Newton capture high-resolution images of the X-ray emissions from black holes. This complementary data allows scientists to build a more complete picture of how black holes interact with their environments. Another valuable comparison comes from the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, which captured the first image of a black hole shadow in the galaxy M87 in 2019. Unlike IP, the EHT operates in radio wavelengths to reveal the silhouette of the black hole against its glowing accretion disk. Combining these different observations offers a multi-wavelength perspective on black holes, with the EHT's radio images showing the event horizon and IP's X-ray data providing insights into the surrounding hot plasma. Future studies with IP and collaborations with other observatories promise to unlock more mysteries about black holes, shedding light on their role as engines driving the evolution of galaxies and the universe. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.